What's up everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the M2 drive potential of the Lenovo P50. So if you did not know, the P50 supports a maximum of three drives, one 2.5 inch drive and two M2 SSDs. If your system did not come with an M2 drive standard, for each additional M2 drive you add, you need to buy one of Lenovo's M2 SSD caddy, which is what I'm unboxing right here. The M2 slots on the P50 support both your traditional SATA interface on drives such as the Samsung 850 EVO, which I have, and NVMe drives such as the Samsung 950 Pro, which is an incredibly fast drive with over 1GB per second sequential read and writes. Now inside the box, you get your documentation, you get one screw to attach the caddy to the actual computer itself, here's what it's called, and here we have the caddy itself, which is just one small black plastic piece that you will attach into your system later on. So now let's disassemble the system. So now once you see your M2 bay, you want to remove the one screw that's been included in the bay and we'll use this to attach on the plastic M2 tray that we just purchased. So to put in the tray, put it facing up with the flap facing up, and then just simply slide it in to the section. You'll see that there are two prongs sticking upward that will lock into place, and then replace the single screw at the far end of the M2 tray, such that it's held securely to the computer. So now we want to use the single screw provided to attach the M2 SSD to the tray and to the computer. So to insert it into the computer, <coughs> you insert it facing up with the label facing up into the M2 slot. You push it in until it clicks. It's all aligned for you quite simply. And then you place in your single black screw that you got with the tray. Now let's reassemble the computer. And there you have it, the M2 install for the Lenovo P50.